What's happening people, it's James Beardwell here and welcome back to another James Beardwell Away Day. I was meant to be doing Folkestone Victor versus Bishop Stortford FC, but as I thought I was feeling a lot better to get ready to watch Whitton Town away to Histon today, but unfortunately as I was all getting ready and stuff, and I was all excited and ready, and but unfortunately things have gone a bit pear shape and things have gone back downhill again, so I can't mention it more about it because I get too depressed about it. So anyway, I'm going to be doing Molden and Tiptree versus Basildon United today. I'm really looking forward to my visit at Molden Tiptree today, and I've been there before. It's a really nice ground, and they've got a really nice stand there as well behind the goal, and I'm really looking forward to my visit. And I'm also really looking forward to meet the Molden Tiptree fan called James Walker Pardon. He's a fantastic fan of Molden Tiptree and he's also a Colchester United supporter as well, but he's mainly a Molden Tiptree supporter. And I'm really looking forward to see James Walker Pardon. And I'm hoping to get a chance to have a little quick interview with James Walker Pardon. And also, I'm really looking forward to see. Tommy Well, who is the Basda United super fan. And, and I'm about to be on my way to Molden Tiptree very shortly. I'm currently now just arrived at Molden Tiptree FC to get ready to watch Molden Tiptree against Basda United as a neutral. And I might be helping out the Basda United support. And I'm really looking forward to the game as a neutral. And, and hopefully, for a neutral point of view, I think it's going to be a really good game. One nil to Mould and Tiptree. About 30 seconds. It was around about 30 seconds when Mould and Tiptree took the lead. Basda United fans getting behind the team. Even one nil down, they always get behind the team. Oh, good save. The referee waved away. Two nil Molden and Tiptree. The half time score Molden Tiptree 2, Basda United 0. And here we got James Walker Pardon, the Molden Tiptree supporter. Hi. James, what is your thoughts on the first half for Molden Tiptree against Basda United? I think United? Molden Tiptree, we've done really well. We scored the first goal in 30 seconds. And um, the second goal was really, really good. 
hit the crossbar and they went, the, the weather we, the girls weather we was a bit shocking to me and I feel sorry for Barrister and I had gone 2 0 down and um, it's good to see James be well and Tommy around and I had to say um, the first half was really good for 1 2 3 and hope we do well in the second half. That's what I've got to say. So, do you think Moulton Tipps will win the league this season? I would doubt it, yes. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. And You're welcome. And enjoy the game. Thank you. That's all right. I'm now here with the Basildon United super fan, Tommy Well. Tommy, what was your thoughts in the first half against Moulton Tiptree so far? Um, personally, I think there's a massive room for improvement. Um, we, we we had our chances when attacking. Um, just didn't just didn't put uh, put them into the back of the net, of course. And do, just the crosses were shocking. Um, the defending, we made it too easy for Malden to get through, uh, which was quite annoying. Um, and of course, they scored two goals, which were we, we can't blame on anyone else but ourselves. Um, the defenders um, they need to work on they need to work on working together, uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> They need to work, work, um, work on making sure they can defend well and stop Malden from getting through so easily. Um, what I'm saying makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, we massively need to improve if we want to get back into this game because Malden and Tiptree, I mean, they're top of the league, they've shown it, they're the, mo they're the more dominant side in the game. Um, and I mean, if we want to get back into this, we really need to improve and it's not going to be easy at all, it's going to be hard. So do you think Basildon United can get back in the second half, get at least like a late draw or maybe even the winner in the second half? Well, I mean, it, this is football at the end of the day, anything can happen. Um, so I think I think the question is like, it's, yeah, I, th I think we could. Um, if, if we work hard, um, the attackers manage to put good balls into the box and the, the final, the final um, like the finish is uh, good and it goes into the back of the net then I don't see why not. Um, but, I mean, it's not going to be easy, like I say, but if we want to, we need to make sure we do it quickly. Thank you so much for your time, Tommy, and enjoy, enjoy the second half. No problem, thank you very much, you too. Thanks. Oh! Brilliant start the second half has been United. 3-0, Molden, tip tree. Oh, just hit the bar. Just hit the crossbar. Smacked against the crossbar. The full-time score, Molden Tiptree 3, Basden United 0. And here we've got the Basden United manager, John Sussex. John, what is your thoughts on the game today? Uh, very frustrating day for us. They're, they're a very good team and we made it easier for them. Um, tactically, they, were, they had it over us a little bit and we made individual mistakes. They scored at the right time. <laughs> Uh, you know, as you can see, after two minutes from a set play, it was really made it difficult for us. And another one just before half time. We changed the system half time, was doing really well, and then we conceded the game, and then we had a player sent off. So everything that could have gone wrong today went wrong. So, very frustrating day. So, do you think that Basda United will do better this season than last season in the league? Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely confident we'll do better than we did last year. Um, we've got a much stronger squad. And uh, today we're just going to put down to experience. It was a bad day at the office, and uh, we, we played well last week. Um, we've got some quality within our side, and I'm hoping that we'll prove that on a more regular basis. Got to start getting points in the league, though. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, John. Pleasure, James. Always great to see you. Good to see you too. Take care. Thanks. So that's it for me, and I hope you enjoyed today's James Beardwell Away Day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below. 
I will keep you updated when I'm going to be doing my next James Beard while away day vlog and I'm hoping to go further up in the UK and I just had to wait and see what I'm going to do and to pick what ground I'm going to go to but I'm hoping to go further up in the UK like I did at Lancaster last last Saturday and it was a really really good day that, 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 that day and and I'll see you later guys on the next vlog.